let's all pretend we were all sugar plum fairies in another life okay because i'm feeling this look if you guys want to see my take on the sugar plum fairy makeup trend using only drugstore makeup continue watching for someone who doesn't wear pink that often specifically with makeup this was definitely a challenge for me but i want to see if i can do it and i knew i could do it and i was getting all my drugstore products together because i was also like you know what let's also make it budget friendly and i'm looking at all the products and it's so much fun because everything's pink and it's getting me really excited to wear more pink makeup and i just love this take on a sugar plum fairy look for the holidays before we get into makeup i gotta talk about these little bows if you saw my previous video i was talking about how i bought these bows for my dogs these are them yes i share bows with my dogs they're so cute and mini and you get a pack of is it six i believe i'll have them linked down below so far they feel very secure and also what i like about them is that the clip part you get them for um either side if you want to put it on left and right you know how some brands all of the bows will be like the actual clip part will be on the same side so if you're trying to put it on the other side it looks a little off these do not and it also comes in a variety of different colors, just saying. And then the other thing, I had to take my jacket off. I love that jacket. I've been renting it through Newly. It's just a little too puffy to apply all my makeup on today, but I just had to do it for my intro, my outro. And the skin and makeup is very glowy. And now if you have oily skin like myself, I do look a glow, but I like it to be selective. So I'm gonna go in with the Seishua. This is the Butter Glow Stick. And I'm going to just target it. I already applied a little bit on before I started filming. Just right here on the high points. And then I'll just put a little bit on the nose. Oh, and you know what? Since we're here, let's put some here. This is so pretty. It does smell herbal. This is part of the Unleash Your brand. If you guys are not too familiar with that brand, it's a Korean brand. And I just recently realized when trying to get all these products together for today is that this is a drugstore brand, which is great. Because then I was like, ooh, I can incorporate some other brands to show you guys. Isn't that so pretty without adding any kind of shimmer, even on the face so i am going to add a little bit of primer so i got my hand on this i know when it originally came out i was like i'm not getting that i'm not getting that but a month ago i finished the original one in the blue tube and i miss it so much it's been so great on my problematic skin that i was like let me try the nice cinnamide one also it's pink it just made sense and just a little around the nose right here and then on the chin for my complexion product i'm going to keep it very simple because the base looks quite minimal so i'm going to go in with my favorite drugstore concealer this one is from neutrogena i know Notice with this look, it's a mix of warm and cool tone pinks. So for someone like myself, I find a warm tone pink to look better on my cheeks. And then I think for eyes, I want to go a little more cool tone. I love everyone's take on this trend because some are going more minimal, especially if you're a little more mature. And then others are just making it look so ethereal and sparkly. I love both of them. Both of them can work depending on what you're going for. And I think I'll be doing a little mix a bow keeping the base really light i'm just going to do a soft contour so going in with the elf halo glow contour stick now this is light medium and it's a little bit warmer than what i would go for for a contour which is why it's going to give me a lighter look for the cheeks this was actually harder for me just because i don't usually wear those types of shades but i think this one looks pretty close to the one that Haley used this is a jason Wu beauty product that you can use on your eyes lips and cheeks so that's what i'll be doing today I wanted to layer it, so I'm gonna start off with the cream, and then we're gonna go in with a powder. From a color perspective, this looks like a dupe for the Pat one. I don't have the Pat one to compare, but from photos and videos I've seen, it looks very similar. Now, some people are going in with that bubblegum pink look. I think if that color suits your skin tone, totally go for that. I don't love a cool tone pink on me. And then just a little bit on the nose. I'm gonna apply just a little bit of the same product on a small fluffy brush because I just want a wash of color on my eyes. And I'm just gonna slowly build it up if I need a little more. I'm gonna set my skin first before I go in with the powder blush. This is just the e.l.f. HD Loose Setting Powder my personal favorite drugstore one and also just my favorite out of all of the elf powders i just want a little more glow to the cheeks so i'm going to go in with this essence pure nude blush in shimmery rose i need to check out their other shades look how pretty the cheeks look i love the combination with this and the jason Wu beauty product so for brows i'm going to use some ulta beauty products ulta beauty has some great gems from their collection so before i started this video i actually put some of this on and maybe i could apply a little bit this is the brow lift laminating gel. I really can't put much on 
because it already dried. But if you like that brushed up look, you're gonna like this one. And then I'm just gonna go in with their brow pencil. I have a couple more Jason Wu Beauty products. They make some really great products. I feel like nobody talks about them anymore, which is really sad. I'm deciding between the two of these. I think if you're going for more of a ethereal look, but you wanna, you know, amp it up a bit more, then I would definitely add this one. This is the Celestial Lust Liquid Eyeshadow. I used a different one in my holiday party vlog, but if you want something that has more of a cool tone pink hue to it, I would look at this one. I think I'm just gonna use this on the eyes for the shimmer. It's the Jewel Stick in Pink Pearl. And this is more of the cool tone pink that I was talking about. That is so pretty. And it's going to give you that wet glossy look because I know she put gloss on her lids. But for me and my mono lids, that's just a mess waiting to happen. And if I apply mascara or even eyeliner, it's just going to be a big glob of mess. So this will give me that look without it actually being gloss. I want to do an inner corner highlight and I haven't done that in a while, but this product gives a very subtle look. It's from Alicia and it's the Shimmer Number no. 7 in Sheer Skin, which I think is a great name for it because it does give that effect. So I'm going to go right here in the inner corner. Then I'm going to go up a little bit. See what I mean? I'm going to put a little bit on my nose. This is such a pretty highlight and then cupid's bow you guys know i love to do it right there a little bit the brow bone that to me is the best hack to create a wet glossy eye look without it actually being wet and without dealing with the mess i'm keeping the mascara very natural looking but i do want a curl to it so i'm gonna go in with the cleo kill lash mascara but in slim fixing so if you see my breakdown on all of the cleo kill lash mascaras you should definitely check it out this one is the most natural looking. I haven't tried this lip combo yet, but I think it's going to look very similar. So starting off with a liner. This one is from NYX. This is their pencil liner and new truffle. And then for the center of the lips, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Hydrogen Core Lip Shine. This one has a cute little heart in the middle. How adorable. I it's gonna give what I want. Oh wow, this smells like watermelon. I think that works. Now I might be the only one, but I've never tried Rode Skin. I haven't tried her famous lip balm. None of that. I feel like I should. I just haven't gotten around to it. So let me know down below if you tried her products before. What do you guys think of them? Are they worth the hype? Should I test them out? I'm very curious, at the very least, her lip balm. You guys know I love a good lip balm. I just recently got the e.l.f. lip balm, which is okay. And then I love my Summer Fridays lip balms. I'm trying to think what other lip balms I use. I'm pretty loyal to my Summer Fridays one. So if you have any others that I should try out, let me know down below. Final step, I'm gonna set my skin with the Makeup Revolution. And this is my take on the Sugar Plum Fairy Makeup Look. It's so pretty ethereal. I feel like I could actually wear this look out and about. Some of these makeup trends I'm kind of like, hmm, could I? Or this should just stay at home. You know what I mean? Or just for social media. But this doesn't look too out there. It's very feminine. I love the colors. I don't typically go for pink tones, especially that lean more in this direction. But I think it's really beautiful. I don't know what I'm more obsessed with. The cheeks, because I feel like I nailed it on the cheeks or the eyes. I think the combination of the two, you guys will definitely see this look on my Instagram. I need to do a shorter version of this because I am obsessed with this look. I hope this video was fun for you guys. I think this was a great way to end this year, this trend specifically. Perfect for the cold weather, the holidays. If you enjoyed watching, make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.